Okay guys, <laughs> back again in the garage and uh, the Brunox is on, the paint is on, now it's ready for the clear coat. Uh, I'm not gonna wait for the clear coat to, to harden, so I'm just gonna put it on and then I'm gonna start mounting the tank. So here you can see the old vase connection. So I think we need to clean it up a bit first so we don't get any debris into the new vase connection and we will have a leak. So yeah, clean it up first. I'm just gonna take the worst off here. Like so. Then I'm gonna remove the vase connection and then clean it off a bit more. So as I said earlier, it's a 22 and, uh, and uh, a 12 millimeter. That's this. So that's the one part which is out. So put, put, put this connection a bit backwards, then you can see the olive. So you need to get something to ply it off with. I have like this, this small C clip uh, pliers uh, and uh, I was hoping they will be enough. So split olive has a groove in them which barrels down into the pipe when you tighten up the connection. So that's why you need to pry it open before you can take it off like you would do with a regular C-clip. But there are grooves in the in the, ol uh, the split olive here so you can see. So let's get this off now. So this should come off. It when you get does. connection off, be sure to check the pipe for scratches. If there's a lot of scratches, there's a chance it's going to leak when you put it into the new connection. So you need bolt M8, uh, at least 16 mil, and lock washers, and this will screw into the tank itself. Okay guys, so mounting the tank is the easy part. Just uh, hook it up over in the front. Take it up and uh, lay on the jack in the back, uh, and then we wanna remove the uh, transport safety or <laughs> transport uh, plastic here for the for the pipe. Just gonna remove that, and it's ready to put in the new the, the air pipe. So yeah, we're just hooking the, uh, the tank up in the front, over the top there. Then you have our air pipe which is going into the into the connection here so just push it all the way in and then check that it's uh, hooked up so it's uh, it's uh, stuck in there so yeah so just put the pipe in and then push it all the way to the as long as you get it in and then check that it doesn't come come out again You can see it's all the way in and it's stuck inside there. Yep, it's not coming out. So when, with the pipe in, we can just push this up, get it to hook over, and then you can see if the bolt fits. So this is a bit a bit upwards. So we need to uh, to bend this hook so we get the 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 nuts or the tag to line up with the holes uh, to get the bolts in. So I'm going to get a screwdriver and then bend it a bit. So with the screwdriver, just be careful not to ruin the threads. So you can see uh, this hook is bent, it's bending upwards so we, the holes are, are lining up. So this is entering now. Let's see if we can get the other one to enter. It looks like it's a bit Yeah, so that's entering. Then we can tighten this up.
don't tighten it all the way because we're gonna uh, to mount the bolts in the front first and then uh, tighten those up and then tighten these at the end so yeah just get them uh, Not all the way, just keep it a bit loose and then we're gonna take the bolts in the front. So the tank is almost there where we want it, just push it a bit over and then put in the bolts. Now back at the rear again, we can tighten up after tightening after tightening up the bolts in the front. Since we have lock washes, don't have to overdo it. So that's that is the tank is in, ready to fire, be fired up and uh, get some air into it. So yeah, good job. With the tank in place, we can uh, just remove the axle stand, start it up, and see uh, see if the air reservoir fills up and there's no leak. So uh, yeah, let's get the axle stands out.